Hey everyone, this is Mojo and welcome to my developer's dog. In today's video, I'm going to show you um, all the features uh, I've added to the update for 5.1 in my Ultimate VR templates. So the first feature that I I'd like to show you is the improvement I made to the two-handed grabbing system. And before that, I'd like to explain how my system is an improvement to the current system that everyone suggests uh, on YouTube that everyone are teaching you. So um, for that, I need to break down how to grant two-handed grabbing system works and why their system is not ideal. Their methods has some caveats that I will explain. Uh, like I hope in a concise way. So. What you want to do basically when you have two grand two two grabbing hand system two handed grabbing system is that you want the weapon to look at the second hand because the main hand is the anchor point of the weapon right so there's no grab two handed grabbing system right now uh the node you will use is basically uh set the set the rotation of the weapon. And the rotation will be a fine look at rotation from the uh, the main hand war space to the second man second hand war space, right? So every frame you want this to um, this is important because uh, you will see later uh, the mesh is the root component and this is not ideal because you will see let's get the mesh to rotate here and let's use this fun look at rotation from the main hand world location to the second hand this is the second hand right but we want this to rotate only when we have a secondary hand so let's get to validate it You see that using the root as a rotation is problematic because, as you can see, there's a 90 degrees offset. I will show you. Um. I replace the weapon in a, a package that I've made by four. As you can see, this is the default rotation, default um, orientation of the blueprint, and it has a 90 degree offset. So, what you want to do is to add some mathematics. You want to turn this. Uh, by 90 degrees counterclockwise. So, what they did, what they did here is to add a 90 degrees rotation to counterclockwise, which uh, mess up the y and x axis. So, you want the X weapon as the Y axis of the look at rotation and you multiply by minus one because it's um, 90 degrees uh, negative and also uh, you want the the role of the weapon which is actually the pitch because um, you inverted the X and Y um, you want it to uh, to follow your main hand uh, roll rotation because when you turn the weapon, uh, like if you want to check the the chamber or the magazine, you have to rotate the weapon your hand and it will follow it. Uh, this is basically the same. It just has a break a speed strap pin. Okay, let's 
then let's go here. Um, the yaw stay the same, as you can see. So now it doesn't follow the other hands anymore, right? The other um, thing doesn't follow this invisible uh, route anymore, but now it follows. It follows the left hand. It looks uh, good here. It follows the left hand properly. Sorry. But you will see that this is not the best method because uh, it will only follow your, your uh, secondary hands and never the orientation of the first hand. When I want to to use my first hand skyward, it will invert and it doesn't follow anymore. As you can see, this is very chaotic. I don't, um, and that's why adding mass is not the solution. The solution would be you use this one as a root, the root mesh, and this one as uh, the mesh that as a component mesh that you you will rotate. To follow this root mesh so you can always have show you you can always have a, your weapon follow both hands like so i can turn both my hands it will follow but it won't follow like endlessly i have put a a constraint, a restriction, um, a clamp, and um, you can modify the value of the clamp easily. Now I'd like to show you everything I've added to the weapon system because it's not an ultimate template when there's no real life reloading, right? So you can grab it both hands here and pull the slider with both hands and this is for reloading right, let's get a knife here it can't shoot because i haven't pulled the slider so now we can shoot and as you can see there are impacts and sounds and muzzles And this is the animation. The hands that comes with uh, the five one are animated for each weapon, for each item, and for each uh, grab point on a on an item. As you can see, this is a pistol animation. Uh, my index in, is not touching the control, but when it touch the controls, the trigger, it will rest in the trigger as it rests in the trigger in real life and when I pull it it's animated as you can see in the trigger um, this is another animation as you can see it's not the same it's still free I can put my thumbs I can point with my I can curve my index and also this has a different animation as you can see I will I will add the trigger opening animation here as well because um, you want the, the way you retrieve the magazine is to to pull this little trigger here so it's the same for pistol you can shoot right now because there's no mag in it now there's a mag, but you can shoot this even bullet. And if I pull this ladder, there's one less bullet here, and there's one bullet in the chamber. Like, and every time I shoot, it's going to decrease a bullet from the magazine 
because it puts the bullet in the chamber and you can see there's a bullet in the chamber with this so there's zero bullet here but the, since there's a bullet in the chamber I can just inject the magazine and I can search it and also you can see it, it follows for realistic uh, and immersive weapon system this is the shotgun it's my favorite one here I shoot but I can't shoot anymore because I have to pull the pump and it's also the second secondary grabbing so it, it has two purpose here and as you can see every weapon has a and a shell eject animation. No bullet anymore. Yeah, let me reload. Let me show you how we reload. Sorry. So there's one way in the chamber. Let's put mo some more in the magazine. So there's five ways in the magazine and one in the chamber. And when I shoot, the shell is empty, so you have to eject the shell. See, and there's one less bullet. And when I do this, Every time it decreases the bullet, so you have to shoot before uh, you side or or else it's going to be empty. Now the ball. This is a physics ball. and it traces the route that your arrow will take. As you can see. It depends on how f how far you pull the string. Okay, that's it for now. The next video I will be talking about the new gravity grab system and the slotting system. See you in the next video. Bye.